South Korea and the U.S. have now a new plan that aims to preemptively strike North Korea's weapons of mass destruction in case of war. What's more, the two allies are already reported to have practiced the new strategy in their joint military drill currently taking place. Connie Kim has the details. South Korea and the U.S. have reportedly signed a new upgraded operational plan, which the two allies will execute in the event of war on the Korean Peninsula. Seoul's military source said Thursday that Admiral Choi Yun Hee, chairman of South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, and General Curtis Gaparotti, commander of U.S. Forces Korea, signed the Oplan 5015 to replace the current Oplan 5027 in June. The new operational plan aims to preemptively strike North Korea's weapons of mass destruction, including ballistic missiles and biochemical weapons, in the outbreak of war. The current plan is focused more on defense, where the two allies would retreat first and then launch an attack to tackle a North Korean invasion. The two allies had agreed to work on this new operational plan back in 2010 to counter Pyongyang's threat and effectively respond to changing strategies. A South Korean military official said Pyongyang's striking power has grown with its developments in nuclear weapons and missiles. The new plan has already been applied throughout the 12-day Ulti Freedom Guardian drill taking place in the South until the 28th. A South Korean military official said this year's exercise focused on minimizing damage in the likelihood North Korea uses its biochemical weapons. Seoul's military official, however, declined to reveal further information of the new plan for security reasons and added the details of the plan for each echelon have yet to be laid down. Connie Kim, Arirang News.